Ben's microphone so we can all give him a big shout out for letting us use it and for letting us try it out. I am not sure what the brand is. I forgot to look, but I'll try to remember to add it in the description. I left the windscreen on simply because I've never tried to use one in an ASMR video in my whole seven years of making ASMR videos. So I thought I'd try it. This is not like the one and only microphone or the one and only time we'll use this microphone. Maybe the next time I'll use it without it. Um, it's, it records the similar way that my Blue Yeti does or a similar way to the way my Blue Yeti does uh, via USB and you record the audio separately onto your computer. What is different is there are no knobs to adjust to things like gain and such. And I can't figure out a way to hear myself back with a Blue Yeti. It works as a microphone, but also as a speaker. So you speak into it, but there is a, a jack for headphones on the bottom of the microphone so that you can listen to yourself speak or whisper or whatever. This microphone doesn't have that, so then I tried to plug my headphones into my computer um, to see if I could hear it that way, and that didn't work either, which is okay. I normally don't wear headphones when I film anyway, but because this was like a microphone test, I kind of wanted to monitor as I went, but it's totally fine from what I can tell so far. This is quieter and less sensitive than a Yeti. Yetis are so sensitive and that's why they're so good for ASMR. Um, so that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but you guys know I have some background noise. I have the fan outside, things like that. So maybe it's a good thing that it's a little quieter. So when I go back and I edit, I will try to make the necessary adjustments and see what we could do. But I thought it was cool. I thought it was something different to try. So I'm just going to be rambling. I have a few things that I want to show you as well. And so it's just going to be my normal video of me just talking to you so we can see how the microphone sounds. gold 
jean right here. So it is layered together on the same clasp and I have it pretty much on the shortest setting so it can come down here if you want it to be lower. Um, but I just put it there as you can maybe tell I've been getting into gold jewelry more the last couple of months. I don't know why. I know it is more trendy now. Um, but I've been liking it a little bit more and I mix metals though, like my rings are silver. I mix, I'm not afraid to mix metals. I was when I was younger, now I don't really care. But anyway, so I love this and I love that it's already together so that I don't have to worry about it getting super tangled or whatever. So I really, really like these. I'll have the links to this and the other two things I'm gonna show you if you wanna check them out directly and a link to their website as well. But this is the first thing, this gold layered necklace. And what I like about them is that pretty much everything they have, whether it's a ring, bracelet, necklace, earrings, whatever, they have it in gold and silver and sometimes rose gold. So no matter what metal you like to wear, you can find something that you would like. So I got th these in gold, obviously. Next thing I will show you, it's in this little gray box. Yeah, I'm looking at like the sound waves on my computer and they are so much tinier than the audio on a Blue Yeti. Curious, I did do a couple of mic tests like before I started filming just to like make sure it worked and it sounded okay. So. Anyway, these are the earrings. They intrigued me. It's gonna be bright for a second, bear with me. Here, I'll try to do that first, okay. So they are these gold, like, half hoops, and they have little pearls hanging from them, which is so pretty. I wanted to leave them in the box just to show you better. I just thought that they were different and just really, really pretty. Again, gold, but I love pearls. Pearls are like a, a classic, like timeless moment. They're never not beautiful. So I thought I would try them. So they would dangle a decent amount, but they're still like so dainty. I think they're beautiful. So I am very excited to wear those. And then the last thing, it's in a little bit of a bigger box, this peachish, pinkish box. And it is another necklace. And it looks like this. I'm gonna get my camera to focus again. And it looks just like this. So it is a gold chain with these little studs. It's gorgeous. I had something like this um, and it was silver. I got it from them. Um, I've shown it to you because I show you everything I I've get from them. Um, but it was a little bit ago, probably the last time I worked with them and it was silver and I loved it so much that I wanted to get it again in gold and I plan on wearing this with um, another gold necklace I have of theirs. It's the oval pendant that I wore pretty much all summer. If you go back to my past couple videos, I'm wearing it. I literally didn't take it off for the whole summer. I just, I don't know, I was really feeling it and I just didn't take it off. But I think that those could look really good together. Um, so those are the three things that they sent for me to show you and I'm always so appreciative. Um, I'll be fully transparent. Hey, happiness it does not pay me. They do not pay me for these videos. And so you may be wondering why, you know, I work with them for free, but you know what? In my eyes, it's kind of not free because they're very kindly sending me pieces that I genuinely love and wear almost on a daily basis. And so I'm very appreciative of that. And I always get so many questions about what jewelry I'm wearing. And they are probably my favorite jewelry boutique. So if you guys want to know anyway, then I will gladly share it with you. 
so I love working with them. Um, I will have a code and links and all that for you to use if you're curious and want to check them out. So, that's the first part of this video. Uh, the second part, I'm just gonna keep rambling. Um, it is currently 9.18pm. You guys know that I normally get home from work 10.45, 11 o'clock usually at night. Um, but I actually was able to leave work about two and a half hours early today. So I got home at about 8.30, which is literally unheard of for me, really. But um, I'm actually going to be going in earlier tomorrow. So I left earlier tonight, so it was a little bit of a shorter day for me. Um, which was very nice, and that means that tomorrow I will work the same amount of hours, but I'm going in earlier, so I get to leave earlier which is nice. So tomorrow I'm working 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., which is my, like, favorite shift. I wish I could work 11 to 8, like, Monday through Friday. That would be uh, amazing. I'd be so happy with that. Um, so any chance that I get to, like, jump on that shift, I am there. I will always tell my boss, yes, she always feels bad. She's like, you can say no, like, you don't have to come in. And I'm like, no, no, I will gladly do it. Yes, like, ask me whatever you want. I'll come in. Um, so since I had the time tonight, I don't really have laundry to do. I went grocery shopping this morning. There's nothing else for me really to do. So I was like, well, let's take advantage and film a video. And I normally film Tuesday mornings, which is tomorrow. But since I won't be able to do that, it just worked out perfectly. So, uh, that is why I am able to film at night. I normally do not film at night, as you guys know. But it's definitely like a change of pace. So, that's what's going on with me work-wise. My phone just lit up. I have it plugged in over there. And my phone automatically... Uh, does like the software update automatically and it prompted me earlier that it wanted to update to the the new 16 the ios 16 um but i like didn't do because it takes a while but i was like well while i'm filming this i can leave it doing that so it just lit up so i guess it's done um i don't really know anything about the update too much. All I know is that you can apparently have multiple um, lock screens. But I heard that, so I'm not really sure what that means. But I guess I will be spending the rest of the evening trying to figure it out. Um, what else can I tell you? <laughs> this is kind of funny. So earlier today, I filmed a quick video and it'll be the next video you see. So I picked up some sushi on my way home today after I went grocery shopping. You guys know I love sushi. And so I said, well, why not? I'm going to eat it anyway. So let me just film a quick, it was like a little 10 minute mukbang. And it was not my usual, uh, I like salmon avocado rolls, like Philly rolls, like things with salmon. There was none of that, which is weird. But there was like tuna, and I like tuna, but I've never had it in like a roll, like in sushi. So I was like, whatever, I'm sure I'll like it. Let me grab that. I was thinking about not even like posting the video, but I think I'm going to post it anyway. I really thought that it was like not good. Like I thought that it was gonna make me like sick because sushi isn't really supposed to taste like super fishy. And the first bite I took of the sushi in the video, you can see it on my face. I was like, it was fishy. But then I was like, let me try Like, let me just keep going. So I, 
wasn't as fishy the second bite and I was like, all right. But the whole time that I was filming that video, I was like, oh my God, am I eating bad sushi? Am I gonna get sick? Also, you guys know I have like a super sensitive stomach, so like it doesn't take much for me to like not feel good. So I was like, oh my goodness. And I didn't even finish eating it. I just, I didn't like it. I don't know. I didn't like it. It was kind of like turning my stomach a little bit. So I think I'm gonna, I'm fine, obviously. I turned out fine. I went through the whole day. I didn't get sick or anything. But I think I just didn't like it. And it just kind of like turned my stomach a little bit. But like the whole day, because I like finished filming the video and then I went to work. So the whole day I was just waiting for it. I was like, all right, when am I going to start to feel sick? Um, but I ended up being okay. Thank God I said a prayer. And I ended up okay. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to post it and be like, sushi mukbang, but a fail. Or like something like that. I don't know. It's, it's footage. I have the footage. Oh, and then another reason it was such a fail was because halfway through the video a man comes up with a truck and like a cherry picker on top and is like working on the lights and the surveillance cameras like on the outside of the building so the truck is beeping you hear the arm of the truck like going up and down I don't know I was like what is happening like the video just fell apart but I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I took the time out of my day to film that video. Is it the best video in the world? No, but it's a video and it's done and it's edited, so I'm gonna post it. And again, it's a quick 10 minute video. Not every video I put out is gonna be a, ma a masterpiece in my eyes, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna post it. That's gonna be the video you'll see next. So keep an eye out for it if you're curious. I filmed that though with the Yeti, not this microphone. I wanted to make a dedicated microphone test for this microphone, so. But yeah, I got a blooper out of that video too. I saved it because I save bloopers sometimes while I edit, so whatever. But I turn, I, my stomach doesn't feel like great, but it didn't. I didn't get like sick from the sushi, so. That was kind of funny. Um, speaking of the bloopers, I started putting my bloopers together from like the last year, but I only have about four minutes right now. I like to get anywhere between like six and ten at least um, to like post a whole dedicated blooper video. But I think when I was so busy with moving and I was so stressed at that point in my life that when I was making videos, I was just kind of going through the motions and wasn't taking the time to like film bloopers or like uh, edit bloopers, I mean. Um, so I lost a lot of time during that time. I feel like if I did take the time, I would have more bloopers. But now that I'm like conscious of it, I started editing the whole blooper video together. But again, it's only like four and a half minutes. So bloopers happen all the time. So I will just keep adding to it because I personally love blooper videos of any kind. I love bloopers from movies, from shows, like YouTube videos, both ASMR and non-ASMR. I love GB's blooper videos and Southern ASMR sounds. Her blooper videos are hysterical. She's such an icon. I love her. Um, so yeah, I'll be working on that little by little. And that's really it. That's all that's going on. Um, tomorrow I'll be filming a Patreon video for my Patreons. It's going to be a mini uh, neighborhood gossip. So I'm going to do that. I actually filmed it already, but I have to refilm it. So I'm going to refilm it tomorrow at some point, probably after work. Because again, I'll be getting home early. I'll probably be getting home earlier tomorrow than I did today, which would be nice. So we'll see. But that's all that's going on. But I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little mic test. Again, next time maybe we'll do it without the wind.